Hey everybody, Debbie here with another Stratega Game Analysis. This is going to be short game, game number uh, four of our uh, attack with the four major strategy to learn how to play from behind. So let's see if you can figure out this uh, Stratego pattern of this particular player. Uh, I believe he was a bronze marshal with over 8,000 games played. So let's see how it gets going. We move the major forward. Now see if you can recognize this common Stratego pattern coming up here. And a general. So what do you think my opponent is is doing? Let's continue. So we swap majors, so that's going to only be two majors down. What do you think this piece is here? This should be pretty obvious. I could attack him with this uh, scout. So we find a sergeant over here. And we find a marshal. So he's a marshal blitzer. Now I don't have to attack with my major anymore. I can play a normal game. But I think I'd go ahead anyway since he was just a bronze player. But now, what's a good plan to do? Normally... The advice I usually give is you bring your uh, marshal and attack this general and swap, basically, because they almost always have a spy either behind the lake or here, and then the other piece is a colonel. So you swap your marshal with their general, and then you follow up with your general and basically attack towards the blitzing, the martial blitzing side, towards the corner. Because a lot of a lot of times the flag is in the corner or on the on the back row with these five pieces. And most of the time, I think it's more than 80% of the time, they have an open flag. And a lot of the times they don't have any bombs on this side. They have all their high pieces. They have a lot of miners, a couple scouts, but all the majors, captains, colonels are all on this side. And usually on this side, they have their six bombs. And he has one here. So that's that's how uh, I got that advice from, I think, Trixie and from Unladen Swallow and probably a couple other players that uh, uh, write on the Stratego forum. You should go there, read the forum, read the archives. There's a lot of good information and you'll learn techniques like this. And it's a very common uh, technique to uh, beat your uh, martial blitzing player. Now, you don't have to lotto when you come up with your general. A lot of times the marshal is down here with the colonel, and they're taking their time attacking your side. And then you bring your general up here, and you attack anything that has moved. And then you bring up your scouts, and you bring up your miners. Now, you can check some of my earlier videos. I went over how you play uh, martial blitzers. And it's a very common uh, way to counterattack them. Now, in this game, I decided 
Uh, I didn't want to do that. I thought it was going to be difficult to move my captain over and then get my marshal up here and then get my general up here and my spies over here away from the marshal, my flags closer to the marshal, my colonel here is in jeopardy. I don't want to swap uh, marshals being down a major. Uh, so I decided to come up with a a sneaky plan so let's watch a couple more moves and then see if you can figure out what i do so i decided to keep on attacking with my major now he should move his sergeant down i hate this he should almost never ever leave i call this a hanging piece it's my pet peeve i still do it a lot so he checks that piece so now i take his sergeant and you really don't want to do this, especially in close games. It's going to cost you. You'll lose a lot of games because of it. Uh, if a piece has already been revealed and you can get away, get away. Don't stay there. Don't let a uh, known piece attack you. So he could find out some information. Maybe swap sergeants. Maybe, maybe get a miner. You never know. Find some key information. But you don't want to be... Uh, captured for no reason at all but there is a time when you might want to do that and this is one of these times i thought about this for a long time i didn't feel like swapping my marshal with his marshal i did not feel like sacrificing my marshal with his general and what i decided to do is see if he would take the bait and go after my minor and then I would just bring my marshal up here and lotto and see what we find. See if it is true that, you know, I figure I got an 80% chance of finding the flag. So let's see what happens. And now I'm thinking here. I think a long time I decided, you know, it's really not worth uh, me making all these moves when all I want to do is attack up here. And so I decide to trick him and see if he goes for the bait. A lot of times I just like to test players to see what they do. It's always interesting to me. That's the whole part of this game that's fascinating is why players do what they do. So he goes for the bait. Now, when, when someone does a move like this, you have to ask yourself, why would they do that? I mean, they're suckering you. Why would someone do this? To lose this piece on purpose? Why would I, you know, want to lose a piece on purpose? It makes no sense. He has to be thinking that. Maybe he should be thinking that this might be a general that I'm trying to get out. Or maybe this is a colonel I'm trying to get out. He shouldn't have, he shouldn't have come down here. This was a monumental mistake on his part. And when your high pieces are revealed... You have to think defense first, especially if you have an open flag. If you have an open flag and you're not thinking defense first, when your high pieces are revealed, you're going to lose a lot of games. So he went for the bait, and I'm not even going to wait for him to take me. I can get by. He scouts me, so that gives me a, a head step. Now all I have to worry about is this This might be a spy. This could be the spy too, but he could be bluffing. So then we just go around it. And he knows he's in trouble if I'm going to lotto. He knows he's going to lose if I'm going to lotto. He made a big monumental mistake. So he's going to try to bring his spy down there.
And a lot of times when you do this Marshall Blitz, you don't have to lotto. But I just said, screw it. I'm going to lotto. And a lot of times, even when you hit a bomb over here, you still can win. You just follow up with your next highest piece. Because a lot of times, the, uh, the flag is open. So we haven't found any good pieces yet. So now my opponent decides to chat to me. I guess this must have been his flag. <laughs> so it's coming up, he's writing a message. I'll get it in a second because I, I click on it again. And he writes, stinking hacker, cheater, get lost. <laughs> so he didn't like being lottoed, but I think he didn't like being duped here. And that's a problem. You know, this is a common stratego pattern. I talked about it in many videos. Uh, check out my other Marshall Blitzing videos, and I'll probably post a few more. Uh, and when you find a Marshall Blitzer, and when you play a Marshall Blitzer, write down how many times, when you play them, write down how many times they have an open flag or how many times they have a closed flag. And keep a track on how many bombs they have on their, uh, on their Blitzing side. I bet you'll find it's almost less than one. And, and I bet you 80% I bet you of the time, their flags are open. Now, maybe if they're going to get smart, maybe they, if they watch some of my videos, they'll start to change. I think I would bomb off. If I, if I became a Marshall Blitzer, I might have a bomb bomb flag in the corner uh, and only use four bombs over here. So, uh, But if you're a Marshall Blitzer, I, put several bombs on, on your flag side and, and maybe bomb off your flag. That's why I tell everyone to bomb off their flag. That way you won't lose to Lottowers. Uh, and you won't lose to people who, who know the, uh, common stratego pattern. All right. Hope you learned something in this game. Bomb in your flags. Uh, bye for now. We'll work on the next video.